and today I'm going to be making a lentil bolognese. So I've made lots of different types of bolognese but I don't think I've done one with lentils before so fingers crossed this will be good and um, let's take a look and see what we do. Okay so we have got a large saucepan and to that we are going to add three tablespoons of olive oil now that seems a lot but we're actually doing six portions of the uh, bolognese today so this is going to be frozen down okay once the oil has heated up we're going to add two onions which have been finely diced three carrots which have been finely diced three sticks of celery which have been finely diced and three cloves of garlic which have been crushed and we're going to put this onto a low heat and we are going to gently fry this for 15 to 20 minutes until everything has started to soften. Okay, so once the vegetables have started to soften, we are going to add 500 grams of red lentils. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. one litre of vegetable stock two tablespoons of tomato puree and two teaspoons of oregano and two teaspoons of dried thyme. So we're going to mix this all together and then bring it up to a simmer. Okay, so when it is simmering, we are going to leave it at a simmer and we're going to leave it for 40 to 50 minutes uh, until you've got a really thick sauce and the uh, lentils are uh, tender. So yeah, we'll come back then. Okay, so after 50 minutes, this is what we have got. So. Um, it's quite thick and the lentils are cooked um, if it gets uh, a bit too thick then you can add a bit of water um, all we need to do now is to add some salt and pepper and cook some pasta and we're ready okay so once the pasta is cooked um, the recipe says uh, for serving six you want 500 grams of spaghetti so I've just done enough for one and just gonna Spoon over some of the bolognese. And then to finish it off, we're going to grate over some vegetarian hard cheese. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. So 
that's really good so the lentils have kind of gone a bit mushy but it's really nice it um i don't know it gives it a really good texture yeah that's definitely a good uh, bolognese so that's it from me keep experimenting have fun and i'll see you next time